like rock right by my head. Hey, you're on your side. Man, used this hour to get groceries and made a wrong turn, wound up out here. Wound up out here, yeah. Man. I thought I was going We are back at Rugged Mountain Ranch again. I am so excited to be back under trees. I have trees all around me. I have on a hoodie. I'm not okay with the spider, but this crew was on a lifetime like dream trip and we run into each other at Sand Hollow and I had posted up that I was coming here. They rearranged their route home and extended their trip just to come here and wheel with me this weekend. They want to hit Tackett Creek. You've seen the previous video and you've probably seen Flex Rocks and Rollovers video on Tackett Creek. If you haven't, check those out, they're awesome. But we're gonna go in here and do it again and uh, hope for the best. It's gonna be a long day. You better let me know if you see a spider. And don't be joking. Well, I'm playing around me somewhere. Apparently it is tarantula season, mating season. I don't know. For my deer hunting friends, it's the rut for tarantulas in Oklahoma. And I'm just not okay with that. So I'm on high alert out here, but we're wheeling. And I like this trip. And it can, it can get wilder. Like I've taken that line right there before. Yeah. Uh, and I almost did, and I almost took that left line, and I was like, man, it's early in the day. <laughs> Let, let's try to make good decisions here. I'm finna back up a little bit and beat on it right here. So far I have seen zero tarantulas and I pray it stays that way. Man, this spot was awesome. I, uh, I stared at it and debated about taking this line right here, riding this ridge or this uh, ledge for a while. But after being out west and just knowing what traction was like and what you could do with some finesse, I, got in there I started to fall off but I wiggled the wheel with a little front dig action right here popped it back up clicked the rear back in and it worked like a charm uh, and then it just worked out the rest of the way it was just an awesome line So there's the ride along that wall, get the passenger tire to pick up there, and then I kind of just put it in rear dig for a moment and it got the back end to pop up. I clicked the rear end and just came right over that massive undercut. That was awesome. There you go. This side's about to pick up. Oh. Hey, try to climb that in front dig only. Try to put it in front dig only and see if it'll pop up. No, because the rear is pushing it into that wall versus the front will let it there you go
Yeah, if it was over like you were the first time. Easy. Yeah, stay like that and that'll keep that side from falling. Perfect. All right, now hard driving. Well, I don't know what's going to work best for you. That, that right there, that works. Yeah, right on your lead. Man, use this hour to get groceries and made a wrong turn, wound up out here. Wound up out here, yeah. Man. I thought I was going to get ice cream. <laughs> From Jack's General Store? Yeah. yeah, come on. If that rear will grab. Oh, yeah, come on. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> we, we added that part out. <laughs> no, I think that's all right. Some people will stack rocks before they even try something, and that's unacceptable. Hey, John. Yeah. What would you say if I said that 70% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel? I'd say that's horrible. They need to subscribe. I agree. Hit the subscribe button. Look, once my driver's side tire hangs on the top of that rock right there on the left side, then I just gotta turn, and my, once my driver's side tire hooks over the top of that other side, meanwhile, I see. Yeah, that that rear's gonna drop, man, and it's gonna. That's what I'm saying. I want to see how deep it is first before we do all that. Yeah, yeah. Like if it's not that deep, that's doable. I just want to see how deep. You pull up there, and it looks like it might happen. I might pull up there and see what happens. Cause now I kind of see the line that you're talking about. I see a lot of bad decisions, man. Let's do it. Good decisions was an hour ago. We done that part. Now it's the bad decisions part. All right, before he drives up in here. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that's deeper than we thought. Deep. Better judgment prevails yeah, for, for, for now, but Wait. stick around. So this is Kyle. That's a sweet little supercharged V6 buggy. But then this guy here is Colton, who is actually his son. He's 18, and this is an older, wide open design chassis. Actually one of their first, or, or really early ones, I don't remember. But he took this thing apart, completely redone it in their garage, painted it, aluminum links, everything. Kid loves this buggy, and he can really wheel. I will bring a whole crew out here, I promise. I would like to sit up this in 22 minutes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, hey, if you're watching, then comment on this video, or if you've watched the race here, leave we a comment below. Yeah, tag tag a good video that we could see people racing up Tackett Creek at Rugged Mountain Ranch. Also, tag a video <laughs> if you see anybody go up that deep water hole line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that big deep one that everybody's been going around. I want to see the last time somebody went up that. Yes. Oh. I have plowed. I feel like I'm just shaving the rocks off oh, out yeah, here. Bro. I've been so spoiled by Sand Hollow, man. I'm just out here plowing the trail plowing. with this. I'm <laughs> just are, moving boulders. Are, yeah, everybody everybody here just left Sand Hollow, so <laughs> we're having to relearn. <laughs> relearn everything. <laughs> I don't know 
what those berries are they look delicious but my instincts tell me don't eat them actually that's not a praying mantis i don't know what that is what is that oklahoma stick ow rock oklahoma stick looking pinchy bug you know we've only stopped a couple of times just to chit chat or you know use the bathroom whatever we've just been rolling on these boys ain't playing. We're gonna knock this trail out and go see some more stuff after we eat something. It broke me. So this is the water hole, but it's not really the water hole anymore. It says it right here, but. Not really water hole. It's right here, but it wasn't like this, like we, last time we were here. So I don't know what happened to it. So we'll find out in a little bit. Look, these two right here. I'm talking water this deep, man. Yeah. Man, the water was over these rocks right here, all up through there. That's what the guy I was with. I think his wheelbase was about 112. He got up here. Of course, this is all water, so I can't see any of this. It's all stirred up, yeah. of course. He got up here, gets his front over. So I came up here and I had to bump it a couple times. <laughs> These things are rolling around under my yeah. rears. I'm rocking on my belly. He winds up wiggling his way back over here. I think his rear climbed up that and he goes that way. Right there, front dig. No one ever listens to my front dig suggestions. I promise it works. I ain't got no sense taking this line. <laughs>
You got shame in your game? Nah, no I, shame. I got pride in saying let's keep it together to wheel another yeah. day. <laughs> you know, I can't <laughs> Gosh, no wonder. Holy crap. Look at that rock. All right, so John th John thinks there's a big rock in front of his Jeep. He hadn't seen the passenger side yet. Oh, I hadn't so, seen the passenger side yet. Oh. The passenger side. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey, I had a rock in my fender well. That's why it broke, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I had no idea. That was that rock that was sticking up right there. Dude, that's why that thing let go and, and it's yeah, yeah. in there. That's why I'm saying we should go that way and we can save this axle shaft. Yeah. So what we're doing, we took the slug yeah. out of this side so that it would just free yeah, spin. We can side. get this rock out, limp it back to camp. He has a U-joint. Yeah, the axle on shafts on side, are good. Fine. Okay, so good. the reason we pulled the drive slug is to save the ears on the axle right, shaft. Yeah. That's why and we're thinking it's going to spit this rock out and then we're going to keep on wheeling and save our weekend. Hey, that worked like a charm. Like a charm. Almost like we had a plan, boys. If you continue to turn everything with a broken U joint, it would just wipe the ears out. Well, the worse, it could do a lot worse too. But uh, pulling that stub, let that wheel spin freely. We're going to save those shafts. 
and throw another U joint in it, and we're good to go. I'm finna back up a little bit and beat on it right here. Man, that's a lot of stress on that one front one U joint, front. so. Well, I guess I can winch it up. Yeah, well, let's keep her together, buddy, because yeah, we got a whole other day. Man, is it about to do it? Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, roll into it. Go, go. Uh, wiggle it, wiggle it. There we go. Wiggle it. Go, go. Dude, that was awesome. We were like, what? what are you doing, John? Oh, just a little trail repair. This looks like the best kind of trail repair if you can make it back to camp. It don't get much better than that. No. Look at that, man. We saved that shaft. If we'd have kept winching and you just kept on going in four wheel drive yeah. without pulling that slug, it would have wrecked it. Wrecked it. You're right. So we are good to go. Wheel smart, you wheel longer. Sometimes. Welcome back. This is day two at Rugged Mountain. Yesterday I stayed back and worked and made bread. <laughs> me and Elena did. And today I was gonna stay, but Philip convinced me to come out for a short two hours, which will probably turn into about six hours. But well, a hundred percent. It's chilly, like. Yeah. My nose is red, it's cold. He said, Daddy quote unquote said, we're going to be down in the creek. We won't be moving, so it'll be super warm. And like, it's chilly, like it's super chilly. That's why I told her she should always listen to me. Mommy's the only person with a hoodie and leggings on and socks on and proper tennis shoes. Everyone else is yeah. like Crocs and one. Other than my face. I'm quite warm and I have my coffee. This is traveling with children. I am on the rock. It is a one person rock. Why? It's get off, please get off. Because that's the only one that No, there's many rocks. So we, we're not doing that. See what I have to deal with? You see the preteen in her natural habitat? Stop! Pre no! What are we doing now, John? It's day two of Tackett Creek. We're picking up where we left off. John's rig is stuck in second in. gear. <laughs> we gotta make some shifter adjustments. hard to appreciate this on video but these <laughs> rocks that they're crawling are huge you see I don't... it doesn't come out on video but like it's they're humongous and they move around like constantly you're just you're destined to hit your diff here you just hit your diff all kinds of ways so be prepared for that it's a rough ride sometimes but here take this side get up this big rock oh gosh and I'm thin. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> I had something. Treading lightly. No, that <laughs> That's what uh, that was trying to make tight turn in a big buggy right there.
stickies at work right there. recognizable by every off-roader. <laughs> Luckily though, this was their last trail and they're heading home, so. Nobody likes to head home where it broke, but at least it's at the end of the trip. Unfortunately, John didn't get to finish this trip. <laughs> you got a 14 like... bolt shaft? Yeah, but I'm not it's going too, to. Yeah, it's I'm too done. late in the day. We're no, just I'm getting... done. I'm pissed now. <laughs> Admitting yeah. defeat, but you gonna I come will, back I and will, get this trail, I will come back and get this trail, there's no doubt, with Did a vengeance. Tell? that in uh, May or something that they race on this trail? Well, yeah, you know, they were blown can away. Can you imagine the carnage? Oh, it's on. I'm coming to watch that. <laughs> yeah, we want to come back and we watch that too. We want to come too. back and watch that. We should just plan to all meet back out here and be here before the race, get all our wheeling in before and then just watch the race. Oh yeah, for sure. Hang out, call it an awesome weekend. Is that straight on that day? Yeah, uh, it'll come back toward, you know, it, it, there we go. So we're gonna run a pulley block up there for that. Gonna pull him up and over because he's wedged in between a rock and a, a hard place. rock and a hard place. But maybe this gives you a little perspective of the size of the stuff out here. Yeah, get the front end done. <clears throat> there it goes. All right, hold up, John. Dang it! I'm on it. Oklahoma's got its own beauty. Yeah, this place is something, man. I'll tell you, this is one of the best places in the country to wheel. It's good to be back. Even after wheeling Sand Hollow and Arizona, and Wyoming and Colorado and all the places I've been, this place, Rugged Mountain Ranch, here in Oklahoma is, you gotta get over here and check it out. I swear it does not disappoint. Let's get back and go see what the broken Tennessee boys think about it. Tennessee boys. All right, John, honest opinion of Rugged Mountain Ranch. What do you wanna to say to the back East folks? It's great. This is awesome. I love it. I can't wait to come back. Cause it broke me <laughs> twice twice man a hundred yards from the exit too i don't break the trail said nope john moore you're not gonna slide up this stuff no problem <laughs> so y'all can't wait to come back i will be back yeah this place is awesome very man. soon probably be first march i'm guessing um, need to find out when that race is i'm getting a ride back from the lodge to my camp saying my goodbyes these boys are rolling out for tennessee that's it for this video